But I just want to jump on here real quick and go over uh, how to cut J channel. I know it's challenging for a lot of people. It was challenging for me when I first started doing it. Um, I messed up a lot of J channel. Good thing it's relatively inexpensive. So with J channel, they make different widths. Um, this white one is three quarters and this tan one is one inch. And the width that I'm talking about is the width right here, okay? And why does it make a difference? Well, I'm gonna show you. So on my pool house build, where we have our opening for our bar, there's a TV going in behind me. The J channel right here, right? I put one by four trim up. And if this right here was one inch thick, it would stick up and it wouldn't be as flush right here. So that's why you wanna make sure you got the right thickness. Um, I believe Home Depot's and Lowe's is three quarter. If you need to get one inch, I would wanna say you gotta to go to the supply house, but don't quote me on that. Um, but anyway, so there's two ways to do corners. You can do them straight or 45. I prefer doing 45. It's not that difficult. It really is not. Um, if you know how to do it with anything. So, you can see that's 45, and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So with our top piece, right, we need to cut a little tab. Because the number one thing with building anything, house, barn, dog house, I don't care what it is, is to get the water to run away. So, for our top J channel, right, we are going to, so you first, what I like doing for the 45 is depending on which angle you need. So this is gonna be an outside 45. So your angle is gonna go this way. So what you do is you put your square on here, right? And I'm trying to get it so you guys can see. You need to invest in a GoPro. So you strike a little line on there, right? So, we got our line on there, okay? So for cutting, you only cut the front part, right? So cut your 45. These work great, tin snips. So cut your 45 on there, but just the front part. So you stop right back there, right? So now I got my 45. Now to get your tab, what you do is come to the bottom part, cut in and cut in. I like to go in a little bit of an angle. That way it's not too wide to go bend over the edge. And I'll show you that one in a second. Okay, so right now you got your tab. This looks something like that. So you got your 45, you cut straight. I'm sorry, cut at an angle, straight, straight on the bottom. And I got your little piece right here. Snip that off and I got your 45, right? So now that'll go up on that piece, right? And the whole reason for that, is very simple. So now you got your bottom, your down piece. So that little tab right there will fit down in there. So how do you do your 45 for your leg? Very simple. We're gonna do the same process, right? So again, you're only going to cut your front. Okay. Now you go to your bottom. In. In. That's your tab on the bottom. The triangle on the front. Snip it off. Okay. So now, got your leg. 
I actually lied. For this one, so see, even I make mistakes. I'm not scared to admit it. Um, so now you'll cut just the back side off. Okay. That way you're gonna cut straight from the bottom of your point, cut straight across. So now, there we go. Now it fits right in actually, you know, it looks like I know what I'm doing. So now you got your nice 45 on your J channel. And obviously to do the other side, you just reverse that process. All right, guys, I appreciate you checking me out. Looking for any tips and tips, tips or tricks specific, please leave them down in the comments. Um, if this was helpful, hit the like button. Appreciate you.